Welcome to the video on trig integrals. On uh, in this video, we're just gonna. This is actually gonna be a two parter, so I guess this is part one of the video on trig integrals. I'm just gonna take a couple questions from worksheet number four and uh, work through them. In this video, I'm gonna do two, and in the next video, I'll do three. So, the first one I'm gonna do, really easy one, number two. Uh, again, this is worksheet number four, so. Uh, Oh, and again, someone in class mentioned this to me, that they pause my videos and uh, work it out for themselves. So I encourage that, too. Or you could even pause it step by step every time I do it and just see how you're doing this along. And I work all these out beforehand, that way it doesn't take too long. But um, if you want to pause this step by step, you know, feel free. I guess I can't stop you. So um, we're going to do U substitution. So U in this case is 2x plus 4 du equals 2. That's the derivative of this right there. Okay, so we don't have a 2dx up here. We only have a 1dx. So to make 2, 1, we divide both sides by 2. So I guess 1 half du equals dx. So when integrating, that 1 half just floats out to the front because it's not a significant term. So we get 1 half cosine of 2x plus 4 equals u, cosine of u, du. Well, if you remember, we have sine. Derivative of sine is cosine. Derivative of cosine is negative sine. So right now we have cosine, so the integral of cosine is sine. So it's 1 half sine u plus c. So we have 1 half sine of 2x plus 4 plus c. And that is your integral. So again, that's a really easy one. You know, you just do the u substitution, find derivative of cosine, just plug it in. Really straightforward. Uh, this one may not seem as straightforward to you, but you know, I'll show you. It's really not that hard. Now, this is 31 on worksheet number four. So it wants the integral of three sine two x plus four cosine three x. My brother is shouting at the television in the other room, so. My apologies. So, right away it seems like you don't have the same term in here, so you can't use u for both of them. But one thing you can do when you're adding them is you can split them up. So we can do the integral of 3 sine 2x plus the integral oh, dx plus the integral of 4 cosine 3x dx. Because the dx gets distributed to each term. So now we can do these uh, integrals separately. So we'll use u for this one. u equals 2x. du equals 2 dx. That's the derivative. But right now we have a 3 as this term right here. So how do we make 2, 3? Well, we multiply by 3 halves. So 3 halves du equals 3 dx. And now we can plug in 3 halves du instead. Okay, so now that we have that, we're going to focus on the other one. V equals 3x in this one. DV equals, well, DV equals 3. But we have a 4 here, so we're going to multiply both sides by 4 thirds to make 3, 4. Yeah, 4. Okay, so now that we have this, 3 halves floats out to the front, so it's 3 halves integral of sine of u du plus four thirds the integral of cosine of v dv. Well, this is going to be three halves going back up here. We have negative sine to cosine, so it'll be sine to negative cosine. So negative three halves cosine. And I'm going to add the plus c at the end of all of it, because plus c plus c is just another plus c. So plus 4 thirds cosine is going to go to sine. Cosine of uh, v. Why did I not write? Oops, cosine goes to sine. Cosine goes to sine of v. Plus c at the end. So now we plug it back in. We get negative 3 halves cosine of 2x plus 4 thirds sine of 3x plus c. And that 
is the integral. So it's pretty straightforward stuff, you know, you just find your u values. But it's the important part is that when you have this plus sign right here, you can split up these two terms, integrate them separately, and then combine them at the end. Part two will be in the next video. Leave a like or a comment if you appreciate it. So uh, thanks.